This video is brought to you by Squarespace. We are about to board the biggest cruise ship in the world. I don't think I'm ready. Welcome aboard with Stephen, Jess, Hunter and Baby Koa, a travelling family from Australia who just made it to the US of A to board the icon of the seas. It's truly hard to wrap your head around just how big the ship is. I've never seen anything like this. It looks incredible. Wow. It's a theme park, pool party, a mall, and so much more, all smashed into one epic, non-stop seven-day cruise. This is Kids Paradise right here. They even have archery on board. And even though some of it was spent inside, there's nothing that will stop the fun on this floating vacation. Alrighty, it is day one. We're at the Royal Caribbean Terminal here in Miami, Terminal A, and there are these gigantic ship turbines greeting us. It's in gold, and you can just see the icon behind us. It's so big. I already love how colorful it is. When we were driving in, we could see all the water slides are so colorful. Even the walkway is like a rainbow. Is everybody ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hunter's ready. Woo. Let's do it. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, look at this entrance. I don't know what I'm saying. It looks incredible. Wow. This isn't a cruise ship. It's a mall. It's a mall. It's a mall. It's a, it's a, mall. It's a, mall. It's a city. Oh my goodness. Definitely compared to the Wanda, which we've thankfully had done before, this is so much brighter. This giant pearl. There's just so much light in here. First time inside the pearl. Oh, it moves. Wow. I don't even know how to describe this. That is epic. You know what? I'm already lost. Yeah, how do you too. get up? How do you get down? <laughs> Where are we? So the elevators yeah. are quite unique here. Hunter, can you click number, number four? Number five. No, and then it tells you, look, go find elevator A. So press five. Oh, yeah, click five. E. Where's E? Oh, E. I really like like the way they've done that, actually. I feel like the elevators should be less congested this way, right? They say it should be, yeah. yeah. Right, let's do it. <laughs> There's no buttons inside. Oh, you can see how there's no buttons inside. She's looking. It's just going to take us there. So we booked this October oh, yes. 2022. What's the day? 24th of October 2022. And we just booked the trip for like a year and a half away. <laughs> Jess, how many kids do you have right now? One. One? Where's the other one? In here. So what hypothetical birth date am I putting Koa in for? We <laughs> need to make up a birth date. We need to make up a birthday. We also had to already have his name. So luckily we didn't change his name. That is he was so Koa John then and he's Koa John now. Okay, so we've done all our muster stuff and now we can officially enjoy and explore the ship. I think they said rooms will be ready at one. It's like 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes. What yeah. should we do? Go to the room? Oh, why don't we go dump some stuff? Yeah, we'll dump our stuff. Yeah. And then we're going to head to Surfside. I'm just so excited to see for myself. It is basically the family section of the ship and it looks unreal. People say that this is the most family friendly ship that's ever been built. Amazing. And we're excited to experience that. Actually, this is super interesting. So this is brand new on the ships. So we haven't booked a conjoining room. Someone else is just staying in the room next to us. But if you are family and book two rooms, you can essentially close this door right here. And you can and then two big rooms. open the two doors and then you can kind of run between the rooms and still have complete privacy. Awesome. And you can actually lock these doors so no one else can come in and the kids can just run around. I didn't know that. Oh, this one's our room, sweetie pie. Do you want to put it up on that? They've given us four keys. Oh my, here we go. It looks so different to the other Royal Caribbean rooms, don't you think? Yeah. Are we no kitchen? No kitchens, but you know what? We don't need a kitchen because there's buffet. And all you can eat pizza and ice cream. The best bit about a cruise ship. <laughs> Did the kids find the balcony? Oh, let's see. This looks cozy. See Miami oh, City out there? See. And then look that way and you can see the city. We're so far away from it. We are so far away. Look how high up we are. And we're only on the 10th floor. You can stay all the way to the 14th. Wow. And we're already this high up. And all the way down, of course. Yeah, and all, and all the way down, definitely. Oh, hi. Oh. I am in the shower, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
not just given a nice uh, tour of the bathroom, but there's a couple of things that I've noticed so far. I feel like there's extra storage spaces because look, there's these ones. They also have hooks so you can hang things. I noticed when we came in, look, there's these little drawers. Okay. We can put things in. So I just think it's so nice when you come into a cruise ship and you can unpack. And then over in the little living room area, there are so many drawers. And I've noticed the bed is really high up. So we can put our suitcases underneath. And I don't know, it's like the small things, but I feel like there's never places to hang things. Mm. We're here, they've done that. I love the look, it's so bright and light. Um, where's Hunter? No? Hunter? Is anyone in there? <laughs> <laughs> nah, no one's in there, Mum. See ya. Huh? And what's under the bed? It's all something down there. Hunter, is that where you're sleeping tonight? Um, I don't know. <laughs> First little look at Central Park. Look at this, and all like the colourful windows that they've put out. It looks so much more like lighter and brighter than the other ships you've been on before. More lively, I think. Like even like this is the area to our rooms. It is so bright. I just realised. Look, there's like little balconies going all out. Yeah, and there's like a floor to like one, two, three, four story high window. Like there's so much to look at. It's like mm. overwhelming. All right, surf side time. And you know us, we're always heading up the buffet, but because they've changed things up on here, surf side is the new family area. There might be some food we can eat while Hunter plays at the same time, which ticks both boxes. I see. Whoa. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love the different carousel things. Oh, I want to go on the flamingo with the ice cream on its head. This is kids' paradise right here. This is unreal. Love. Let's do this. Why do I feel like this is like going to be our favorite part of the ship? Uh huh. Yeah, where are you going up? Where are you oh, going there? Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. My way, ice cream, ice cream. Go, Koa. Woo! You did it, Bain. How many times are you going to do it on this week? Eight. Eight times. Eight times. Koa and I have already found the kids' buffet. Look at this. Oh, I want you. Oh, I your face, Hayley. <laughs> Are you pretty butterfly? Can I see your fluffy? <laughs> and what do pretty butterflies need? Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, I see a place called Sprinkles. Shall we go to Sprinkles? Oh. Thank you. Hello, Miss Butterfly Hunter. You look so beautiful. Hi. There you go, honey. You're welcome. I'll be a can, right? Like, but we're thinking, so they do have like a kids buffet, but it's quite small and we're hungry. So I think we're gonna go to the Windjammers. It's two o'clock. I smell prawn. Oh, there's cupcakes. What colour cupcake would you like? Thank you. Look how cool it looks out there. Oh my gosh, the water slide. Water slide, Hunter. Honestly, out of all the ships we've been on, definitely hands down Royal does the best food, especially when it comes to the buffet. Like we're just at the Windjammer Marketplace, and I was just smacked with so much good food. I went to off the grill. I have grilled prawns just in here, grilled halibut. I have some like roasted potatoes. I know we just hopped into the Mediterranean. I've got stuffed peppers. Mm, this is dangerous. One here for seven nights, guys. I'm starved. We kind of skipped breakfast because we knew we we're coming onto a cruise. And oh, and even a fresh shrimp cocktail. So good. The horn is going, which means it's sailway party time. That's where we be tomorrow. We're sailing. I'm gonna go to Tropical Storm. We're on the back of the boat, looking out of Miami. So nice. Oh my god. We just look huge. Whenever another ship comes past, we are just ginormous compared. Late in Miami. See you in eight days' time. That was such a beautiful sail away. Wow. Stories high starting on the third deck. We're eating dinner tonight on the third deck and it goes to the fourth and all the way up to the fifth. And this is just one of the holes. Look how grand this is. But I appreciate it how there's like three different areas to see how grand and big the dining hall is. Wow. 
<laughs> what have I filmed? Oh, no. What have you done? <laughs> We're in the nice dining room. We're not in the buffet. Okay. Seeing it's our first night, we decided to come and eat in the main dining. And there were so many options on the menu. There was like eight main course options. Yeah, this is the starters. Delicious. So we've gone for like a flaky pan fried fish. Overlooks like a potato bake. We've got corn. Jess gave it a try and she said it was a little bit salty. Potato bake, I feel like you can't do wrong. To be honest, that potato bake's really creamy. It might actually cut the fish. Okay, the cream definitely hides the saltiness, but I do feel like it's a little bit fishy. It's still good, but luckily tonight is casual night at the main dining because we are full casual tonight. Well, okay. thanks so much for joining us all on the cruise, oh, everyone. Oh, 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 <laughs> so good. So we're coming to find the Aquadome where the show is tonight. It is a water show. Water. Hold your breath. Whoa. Hold my breath. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. We haven't seen this yet, Steve. It looks unreal. I can't wait to see the show. We're right near the front too. So when we're on the Wonder of the Seas, they actually had the Aqua Theatre at the back of the ship kind of where the new kids splash area is. Their reasoning for moving it indoors for the icons is that they can actually fully control the lights. So I'm excited to see the lights, the special effects, the sound they do into this. As you can see, it is fully enclosed. The last one was outside. So let's see this brand new show, Aqua Action, that they've got going. Expectations are high. It starts in a minute. This show, even better. Like the aerial show, that was my favorite bit. Like, gave me goosebumps. So good. Seriously, that half an hour went so quick. I, they could do another half an hour. That was, I, I could go see it again. That's how good it is. Wow. Morning, everybody, from day two here on the world's largest cruise ship. Uh, we're actually having a sleep in, and then we woke up from an announcement saying we're going through a swap. Uh, squall in boating terms this is technically a big rough patch of weather so they've actually blocked off the top decks we can't go up there so uh, we're gonna check out the inside today or at least until this squall squalls away oh yeah this is the worst weather we've had on a cruise ship what do you do on a cruise ship when we're in a swell is uh you just grab yourself a slice of pizza and then you come to harry potter trivia wish us luck I kid you not, <laughs> worst weather we've been in on a cruise ship and it doesn't feel like we are rocking bad weather at all, but just off Royal Promenade on deck five, so it covers two decks, is Spotlight Karaoke. Of course, you're gonna do karaoke. When that's not on, they got some trivia on. So it's the first time we've been in here, we're checking it out. Please again, the answer sheets. What is the effect of casting the spell Obliviate? What is this? Number seven. What All right, we're up to question nine and three quarters and we're eight and three quarters confident on our answers. There's one that threw us off. Hermione's heroes. Good luck. Good luck, boys. I'm feeling so positive. We got this, we got this. No! Trivia, but good news. The sun is back. The wind is still here, but who cares? We're going to knock them. 
Oh, we need the back of the boat. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, that was a big flash. That's the pizza shop, Hunter. That's so cool. I love this one so much because you don't feel like you're on a ship. Like they put the sound of crickets in the air, so you really sound like you're walking through a park. This is yeah, it's all real trees, real flowers. Delish. Thanks, John. Trying a drink from Bubbles. Oh, that's a good one. I think everyone went and got this one. <laughs> So I hate to keep comparing to the Wanderer of Seas. You just can't help it when you've been on a previous trip. Last time we did Hibachi at Izumi and we absolutely loved it so much that we wanted to come and do it again. Of course, we're traveling with some friends at the moment and we said, let's all book out a table and enjoy it together. But last time, Izumi was kind of like hidden away on the Wanderer of the Seas. I feel like it, no foot traffic. You would only really find it if you were heading there. But now they've moved it to Central Park. They have like a quick service sushi. You can also do Hibachi which we're doing but I think I way prefer it like look at how nice this is Central Park has this great atmosphere and then you come into Izumi and yeah I think it's really cool that they put it in here so you can book in for hibachi and you can book in for sushi and there's like this beautiful cherry blossom artwork in front of us and yeah let's go see uh, how different it looks I mean just looking straight at it it looks very Japanese inside very wooden I feel like the last one was kind of just a room with the hot plate on it and this looks way beautiful it looks pretty authentic too so tonight for dinner we've come to get hibachi which is one of our favorite things to do and for dessert what do they have for dessert hunter um i they sell mochi mochi for dessert so we all know hunters wait for dessert to come around they even have a window where you can walk up at lunch and dinner and just order sushi Ko was excited for his first hibachi experience and he can try a tiny bit of mochi rolling on the river rolling 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 on the river rolling hunter jane who tries edamame bingo bingo Whatty what? So if Bingo likes edamame, do you think Hunter's gonna like it? You don't have to like it as long as you. Yeah, look, Daddy's gonna do it. It's really fun. You pop it. Yum. Look to the sky. Look to the sky. <laughs> and crunch. It's yummy. It's squishy. <laughs> I'll give him a little bit. He looks at me disgusted, but he's chewing. He's already understanding the rule. You don't have to like it as long as you try it. Okay, ready, set. Yeah,
So hibachi show is always 10 out of 10. So here at hibachi you can get steak, chicken, shrimp. We've gone for lobster as well and they've given us different sauces. Also some fried veggies as well. It's a really fun night. Of course specialty dining you do pay extra on Royal Caribbean but this is the one to do if you're gonna pick one. Look at this! Thank you. Have a big bite. Is it mochi? <laughs> <laughs> mochi is like her all-time favorite dessert whenever we go to Japan. We go to the 7-Eleven and get the mochi. She was actually confused when it came because she's like, the mochi should be white. That's because the 7-Eleven one is vanilla. <laughs> like, we got chocolate, strawberry and mango. Ice cream mochi. The best. <laughs> So we dropped the kids off at kids clubs, so we're just hanging out with all our friends. So we've come into a silent disco and basically there are two DJs, one's blue, one's green, and then you can choose who you want to listen to. Does it look so late when you can't hear anything? But when you put these on, it all just makes a difference, ready? these days. Oh I appreciate God. that. Hope you're enjoying this cruise vlog. We just wanted to quickly say a massive thank you to Squarespace for the continuous support of our channel. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform. We can easily put together a website, blog, or shop. Our website is built on Squarespace. You'll have to go check it out. It was so easy to put it together, especially with their brand new Fluid Engine. It's so easy to just drag and drop create a website and feel like you are a web designer without having any idea on what to do. Plus, if you do get stuck, they got 24-7 customer support. And if you run a shop, it is so easy to build it now on Squarespace. You can sell digital, physical products. And if you are interested in giving a shot, use our free trial link below. Plus, you can get 10% off your first order. All right, let's go back to this world biggest cruise ship. So we've come for lunch today to Aqua Dome Market, which I think is new, right? No other ships have this. No, I think this is new. It's really cool, so you can come and there's all different things that you can eat. And I'm guessing they make it fresh. So I see this crepe. I want to try a crepe. They do salted caramel crepe. They have a lollipop chocolate with no <laughs> All made fresh to order. This is going to be a new favorite spot. I know. And the view. It just feels so weird when you're going. It almost feels like you're at this like fresh to order food court, but it's all free. <laughs> all right, we've got a bit of everything, so we can try it all. Hunter's already gone for the uh, crepe. Hunter, what would you give the crepe? One thumbs up, two thumbs up. I want to do the fortune cookie first. I need to know my fortune. It says, faith is a law. I'm going to tell you your fortune as well. <laughs> Yours is, it can't rain all the time. So good. So good. Fresh and the pita's like warm. Mm. Mm. You'll like that. Tofu noodles with a spring roll. Five out of ten. Ten out of ten? Five out of ten. I feel like it's just noodles and they just plonk something on top. Like it doesn't feel like it's been cooked together. Mac and cheese. I'm eating it with chopsticks. I went and just got the classic mac and cheese, but you could choose all different types. Mm. I like it with the crunchy bits. My bread crumbs. Seasonally burning. My egg goes crazy. Did you see the lamps? That's Mexico. 
It's our first time in Mexico. We can see it now. We're not going there till tomorrow. I'm excited. I've always wanted to go to Mexico. So above me is Crown's Edge, which is one of the optional things you can do here on the cruise. And uh, let's just say it's got the extreme meter on an activity to do, way blown past any of the water slides. We're essentially going to walk outside the ship. And I'll leave the rest of you guys to work out. And uh, I'm excited. I just heard there's a drop. I'm not ready for this. I'm going first, then it's Jess's time. So they've actually already suited us all up. And generally we don't come out, we go straight up to the obstacle course. But the captain has to turn the ship to the side just for like this activity. Because it's so windy that they had a few challenges before. Luckily we weren't on that one. And yeah, essentially we're gonna have to be walking across this drawbridge, jumping across these, and then there is the drop which turns into the zip line that goes over the edge of the ship. I'm not allowed to bring anything up there. They do give you like a little camera uh, to film the experience. There's no audio on there. I'll just have to tell you guys how it is after. of trivia and we just keep noticing the little details that are on this ship and the menu looks like an old record it's so well done but we're gonna win this time it's Disney trivia 27 oh. <laughs> uh. so tonight we are in the Royal Theatre because there is a show on tonight it's actually an acapella group called mosaic uh, I personally haven't heard of them but apparently they've been on America's Got Talent a bunch of award shows and it's gonna be pretty awesome. So it starts in about 15 minutes. It's the first time we've seen the Royal Theatre and it's humongous. It's two stories. Uh, we're heading downstairs so we can get a good view. Excited to be here for the first time. Good evening and welcome to the Royal Theatre for tonight's headliner showtime. We just watched a, I was gonna call them pentatonics, but they're not pentatonics. A acapella group. They were actually really good. The beatboxer was insane. And now we've heard, sorry, there's like live music everywhere at night here. And we've heard amazing things about dueling pianos. It's basically two pianos, they battle it out. The other night there was a huge crowd, so we were like, we have to do it tonight. I'm puffed carrying this girl around, but let's go. <laughs> on this ship, you need to go to Dueling Piano. That was incredible. Oh my goodness. So basically what it was, it was two pianos and then it was all on request. So you can request songs. And then I requested our first dance from our wedding. Didn't expect her to play it and then she played it and made us dance in front of everyone. I'm gonna give the dance floor to you too. Oh, so <laughs> and then we request one for color when he woke up from the This is the baby cat. I went and picked him up and um, they played Twinkle 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 Little Star for him. But oh my gosh. Hands down, if you're coming on this cruise, go to that other spot. There were so many people, there was people crowding outside the whole venue. Like the venue's too small. Yeah, if you're going to do it, come early and get a good table near the front. It was, but they'll pick on you if you're at the front. <laughs> Just to warn you, but amazing. What a whirlwind three days, Steve. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, good night, guys. We'll see you in the next one.